So you look over a little bit. Hello, humans and pets. Today, D'Angelo's. Wow, right at it. So D'Angelo's is somewhere I have never eaten, and they're everywhere. But it's just it's just one of them chain grinder places that we've never eaten at. Someone has fought me on this tooth and nail. So he, my dog didn't want to go here. It, it, he's blaming it. There's no dog about it. But I've never been. It's come Apparently recommended it's to good, us. So and, we're going to uh, eat it. Back when March Madness was going on. So uh, they did a March Madness. Three of, months ago. Yeah, they did a March Madness of all it's there. June as of recording this. Right. Yay, June. Well, when, yeah. it was, when it was going on... They did a competition on which one of their grinders wins, and they did the tiers and everything. So the number nine came out on top, beat out the lobster roll. So I said, we have to try a number nine, just because I've never been there. Mm -hmm. So we had to try it. And then Ryan picked whichever uh, one he wanted. Southwestern. Southwestern. So we got the steak number nine. Yes. It, we got white bread on both of these. Um, it comes with steak, American cheese, Hot. We added hots on both of these. Yeah. So it's it's we added hots, um, grilled peppers, grilled onion, and mushroom for the number nine. Okay. Um, we added hots on both. For the southwestern, this is a large one. Um, it's going to be chicken because we got chicken. Hots. We added hots. Grilled peppers, grilled onion, jalapenos, chipotle sauce, ranch, black bean, and corn like salad. Um, dried cilantro, and it was charred corn. Right. So we're gonna be eating these today. So he he kind of he was like really down on I don't know I don't know I don't think we should have did it but I said we gotta try it. I've never been to this place. Mm -hmm. Now we ordered a large. They come in small, medium, large, and one, one pound, two, or something like that. It's a pound. A pound. And so we got the Something large like because it, it was One right around the it was right around ten dollars. Uh, it was eleven dollars. Eleven dollars for the large, and we weren't sure what to get because every yeah. time we buy like the the ten dollar grinder at all the other places, it comes six inches. This is easily seven a inches. foot long. That's this is three and like a oh, half Mr. Turtle. It's a good foot long sandwich, anyway. There's like four Mr. Turtles, so it's like. So we're gonna see what they look like. It looks like a well, decent looking grinder. 13 maybe? Is what it looks like. It smells, smells very decent. good. It smells um, very good. We're gonna be eating it today. So we bought two different flavors because A, he wasn't sure he was gonna like the steak and cheese one. And B, I figured we've never been here like all the other places. Let's try the two different places. Here, so I'll any this. side, we'll just I'll, grab one of them. I'll bring this one out. Please don't drop okay, it. Okay, that's a bad idea. How about you just grab one of yeah, them? Yeah, uh, what side would you like? All right, I don't care. So I'm going to get you. Okay, you grab one. You can put this here. side. I'm going to do the side closest to you me. You can show them because oh. I'm going to make a messy. I'm going to make one too. Which one are you eating first? Uh, let's eat the steak one. Okay, steak one. This one has like jalapenos. We added hots. Uh, steak, grilled onions, grilled peppers. So we'll just give you a side view. Mushrooms, it looks like. Whatever Lovely. I said earlier. Steak and cheese, like you said, he added number hot. Nine. And that's that's the inside view. It's nice and warm still. Yeah. Wasn't super far from the house. Again, I've just never, I, I've never ordered there. I never thought to order there. I'm excited to taste the hot. And let's let's give it a try. Yeah. So this was the award winning. Yes. For the. For the March the, Madness. The bracket it is now winning. June. That everyone raved about. So let's give it a try. You keep saying it's now June. I've, I've been asking him to go to this place since that. Where? April? Yeah, since the March Madness. That's good seasoning. What do you think? I like the I addition. Like the, the hots. hots the make, hots really great. do make it. It gives that nice vinegar flavor, but the actual steak and cheese is really good too. Like this, this is a nice mm. grinder. It's mushrooms aren't overly chewy. I don't like chewy mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I tried to explain to him. He's not a huge steak fan. I'm not. But the thing is, it's a shaved steak. 
Mm-hmm. And this is what they used to cook. I don't even know if they still sell steakums. That was the Dean's, one of Dean's favorite. We used to make it with onions and peppers. And it's a shaved steak like this. And you can literally fry it up in, in minutes. Make a nice sandwich like this. You know, a little mayonnaise. Mayo would be good on this. Mm-hmm. But I wanted to keep it relatively traditional. You said, let's add the hots. And I'm like, I'm in. You know, because I like that. It adds that little vinegar flavor. But overall, if you're like us and have never gone to D'Angelo's, we're probably the only people in the world that never eaten there. For the ten dollars, a large grinder is easily a foot long, and this is very, very tender, very, it's very flavorful. It's very good. The steak has a good flavor. I wish it was a little more cheese. It's only complete. Yes. Yeah. Very little I, cheese. I, I agree. But you get a lot of steak. Yes. And everything else, so you can't really complain. Mm. The steak is well seasoned. I like the peppers. I like the onions. There's a lot less onions and peppers than there are mushrooms. Yeah. I don't mind them. I'm not a huge mushroom fan. I don't like the texture of them, the sliminess and the chewiness. I'm not really tasting them. But um, every once in a while you get one, mm-hmm. but it's, it's mainly just a flavor. They cooked, I think. I do like, because they do have a regular steak and cheese. I do like the onions and the peppers. I don't know if they're on their regular steak and cheese. I like that because it gives you that little contrast of flavor. And then the hots is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. You got to wait a minute, buddy. You got to wait a minute. Give me a minute. Finn likes it. This is really good. This is really good. The, the hots really do make it. I love that flavor. Mm-hmm. I really like that the, the steak is really good. I was a little nervous to try it myself because all these chain grinder places, to me, have been a disappointment. You're paying $10 for a six-inch sub when you know you can go downtown and pay $6 for a foot long. You know what I mean? Right. So finally, a chain place that actually produces quality ingredients. For like what? This is a really good... I can't wait it to try your dry concoction. All. No, it, that it it's dry. very. That was his other thing. He goes, "This is going to be so dry. Mm-hmm. It's going to be nasty." I was worried. Mm-hmm. I was worried. I do like too that the bread is lightly toasted. Mm-hmm. There's no crunch to it. It's no. still soft. It's very fresh. But it's but it's warm. It's, almost, it's warm. It's almost flaky. Yes, the texture's really good. It melts in a way. Um, I'm not a huge steak fan, so I'm going to be biased. Um, it was decent. Um, I think it was better than Subway. I liked it a lot, but I don't think it was the best I've ever eaten. So, I'll leave it at that. What is the best you've ever eaten? Oh, that. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that is a better. That's a just for, That's not a steak and cheese, though. No, it's not. We've never had a steak and cheese. I, I told you, I don't think I've ever ordered a steak and cheese anywhere else. And I stay away from steak mainly, so... It was good. Okay, so this one, that was very good. It, it I really good. liked the it hots. Good. It was definitely good. I like the hots a lot. This one is the Southwestern. The Southwestern, we added hots to this too. It has corn. Well, this one had has black bean, like in it. salad yeah. dressing type thing. I and liked it because it had chicken. It had a bunch of ingredients like you were making a burrito. Ranch. I think it has ranch. Yep. Um, we added hots to I it. Can smell I think I already ranch, said actually. that five times. Yes. But um, we're just going to eat it. In, to, our, in our face. To me, it, it sounded like you had a burrito and a grinder. I mean, yeah. there's the corn salsa right there. Black this beans. one's definitely way messier. It has a chipotle sauce as well. Yeah, I, I don't know if I said I'm that. I'm already liking I'm the messier. I'm big messy. Yep. I'm one bite in and I already like this better. Really? I'm sure, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not that big of a steak fan. I'm a fan of this corn and whatever, the corn and bean salad. And there's a little bit bit of a heat too. I've never had a grinder like this. Mm-mm. Like you get your traditional Italian, that's usually what I end up getting, or a meatball. This is a burrito grinder. Mm-hmm. It's got the beans, the only thing you're missing is rice. You know what I mean? This tastes like you're eating like a 
home wrecker from from from, uh, from Moe's. It has a spiciness too. Mm. It's really good. I will agree. When he was reading the ingredients, and I'm like corn, charred corn, with 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 beans, and I'm like, really? I'm like, that sounds just like we should get it. Like it just, it was ingredients that I couldn't envision them on a grinder, and I thought it would taste weird. It tastes phenomenal. It tastes really good. Mm-hmm. You can taste that cilantro. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, there is cilantro. You get a hit of the cilantro every once in a while. And the hots is nice, too. I do it adds like, another liquid, which you I don't do really like need. But. And, and it does, it has a jalapeno. They do already had jalapenos on it. I'm guessing the hots is like that That's, hoagie the spread. spread. The jalapenos the have spread. a good spice to it, mm -hmm. which I really like. Right. Because a lot of places tone down the spice on the jalapenos, you know? You gotta wait a minute. Give me a minute. Eat your food. Eat your supper first. Just for the flavor, this is a good spicy jalapeno. Mm -hmm. Overall, before we went here, I really thought that we were getting sucked in to another overpriced uh, chain place. And he said this before, a long time ago when I said it. He goes, you're going to pay more money. It's gonna, not going to be good. I said, we got to try it because... Uh, I was very worried at the price point. We've been told it was good, but, you, you know, someone else's good might not be your good. And when you look at a, a grinder that you don't know the length of it, it's not like they say a foot long. Mm -hmm. It's just small, medium, large. And then I'm like, all right, so it's over $10 already where, again... Right down the street, their large regular grinder is like six bucks or whatever. So I started going, <clears throat> starting to get into that pricey range. Worth every penny of it, though. I do like the whole grilled part of it. Um, super flavorful. I love the bread. Nice and juicy. The bread is super, super moist and mm -hmm. fresh. And uh, I, I, this one is actually a home run. I did love the steak and cheese. Um... I will agree with you though. This has a whole different taste. This yeah. is like eating a big burrito. Yeah. Do I like the steak and cheese more? I may, but you can't really compare them because this is totally different. Yeah. I'm going to say this isn't the best grinder I've ever had, but it's definitely very close. It has a lot of flavors. The cilantro, it's not, oh, it's there, but it's not no. overly there. No. Nope. Which is good. Um, because it's strong. I love this corn and bean salsa. Mm -hmm. The chicken's good. I like They it. add a lot of meat. Honestly, for... This is one of the better burritos I've ever eaten. It's not a burrito. You know what Compared I mean? to like Subway. Mm -hmm. No offense to Subway, but they add like... They count it, you know? This doesn't seem like it's counted. It seems like it's just thrown in there. He says that, but we're going to have to go back and try to buy one, get one. Because Subway has... It didn't even work last time. But I know. But Subway has a hot side that we never got anything from. They do have like a Southwest chicken mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And if you guys want to see but it... they never have as much... No, nope. if you want to see it, leave a comment down below. Maybe we can go back and try it um, as a comparison. But... For uniqueness, I've never, but I, I mean, we don't eat a lot of grinder places, but on all the apps that I, I don't remember seeing something with a concoction like this, mm -hmm. and maybe they all have it. This is, very, this is really good. It's, it's original to me. Mm -hmm. I've never seen something like this. Um, tastes like it should be in a, um, in a vat mm -hmm. and you can get it in a vat. This this tastes like a burrito. You can probably if you get in the bath, it's just gonna be a burrito. This is a burrito on a grinder. We added hots, which mm -hmm. I would recommend. I will say they have some of the softest bread. Yeah. I think we've eaten anywhere. Yeah. It's it's really good. Mm-hmm. Their rolls. Yeah. If they don't make them fresh in the store, they definitely buy them fresh daily. Cause this this is like some of the freshest. Uh, it, it tastes super grind fresh. Grind the bread. It is super soft, super tasty. Flaky. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really good. It's not... 
like, if you look at it. It's not big. It's not overly fluffy. No. The good part of this whole grinder is the, the bread itself isn't even like, like sometimes you get in, in the bread is the whole thing. Yeah. One of our favorite places. It's just a loaf of bread. It's literally a half a loaf yeah. of Italian bread. But it's for like $5. But the star of the show is really the bread is so good. Mm -hmm. This one, they really stuffed it full of stuff. Yeah. It, but the bread is is really... It's also really good. Really tasty. Like it some places, really is. it's either the bread's good, and then the, everything inside's good, or like, or the bread's really good, and the stuff inside isn't as good. Well, the stuff inside is really good, and the bread isn't as good. This is a solid, like, good, good. It really it's, is. It's a good combination. It really is. And I'll tell you what, on this Southwest Grinder, the, the sauce that they cooked all this stuff in really pulls it all together. This is actually yeah. a, a very tasty. The chipotle sauce nah. um, has a spice. The jalapenos are spicy. Mm -hmm. They're pretty spicy for jalapeno. Um that's pickled or whatever that's on yeah. the grinder. And that um, one came standard with a jalapeno. We threw the, we threw hot, the hot spread on there. But not that hot. No. Great flavor. I, and I, I told him that before, and he used to fight me on that too because he, yeah. he wasn't, he's like, no, I don't want to put it on. I don't want to put it on. And we did it on a different, come here, bud. Come here, you can come sit on me now. The, um, we did it on a different one that we got somewhere else. And it just adds a, a, a delicious yeah. flavor. And they sell it at like Walmart. And I got to get another thing of it. It's called yeah, like a hoagie spread it. or, or, or uh, uh, pepper spread, depending on which brand you get. But uh, really, some of the best $10 I've ever spent on, on, on anything. On this, yeah. on, on a, you know what I mean? Like to, to me, that is a, was a, at least a foot long, if not bigger than a, a foot long mm -hmm. grinder. And uh, I'm full. And that, both yeah. of them, and we didn't mention the bread on the steak and cheese, but again, Same stuff. it was warm, it was mm -hmm. delicious, it was soft. I'm not a steak fan, and so I'm going to say it's worse. Um, I think this one was phenomenal. Yeah. I think the steak one was also one of the best I've ever had. It, 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 and it, I don't like steak. Um, I'm not that big of a fan. I like, I'll eat it, but I, yeah, I'm not that big of a fan. The thing I like is is that steak, onion, and peppers flavor. When they get together like that, I like the onion and it peppers. adds a nice flavor. Would that have been better with a smear of mayonnaise? 100%. I yeah. would have loved it better. But delicious. Again, why I would like to try mm -hmm. like an authentic steak and cheese. Yeah. Because uh, I know one of the places in, in Philly actually uses sacrilegious yellow spoon cheese like you like. And another place, the canned cheese. Yeah, and and I think the other ones use like real cheese and stuff like I that. I love canned cheese, not canned and cheese. The, the, cheese. The spoon. No, I'm talking like you you pull the top of yeah, it yeah, off, yeah, yeah. The and big, it's like the yeah. yellow like school lunch. And they cheese. heat it up and stuff. I think I like the spread cheese does. too. But. I remember seeing it on Triple D. But as far as D'Angelo goes, I I will definitely go back. The only negative I will say about D'Angelo's is they don't have an app that actually works yet. Um, you have to go online. Yep, you can we order went, online though. We went on online website. and ordered it. Um, flawless. Yeah, yeah, and and it said it was ready. He went in, grabbed it, and came right out. So it works like that. So you couldn't pay with a credit card if you go online and do it. it you can probably play with a credit card in the store too, but yeah. you can pay in advance. Right, but it works, so he could just run in, grab it, and run mm -hmm. out. But uh, if they got an app again, I would. Like it's that. it's like everything else because you can earn points to get. Free or stuff, even if so. they don't do points, but just have the ability to have an app. Right. I like apps a lot more than through Google. I think it's it feels more secure. It does me. feel more secure, and um, and a lot of times too is it alerts you, like like the Taco Bell app goes yeah. bong, and then all Dong. of a sudden boom, they got something new. It's like new stuff. And again, I don't know if D'Angelo ever does anything new. This was new to us. We have never gone, and uh, we know our friend Audrey loved this and swore by the steak and cheese there. And again, I saw that they won. They were doing the number a, nine. A, they were doing a bracket, mm -hmm. and uh, I could see why it won. It was very good. It was definitely very. You good. You would probably vote for this one instead. But I would very, definitely vote for yeah. this one instead. This one though is a unique, a unique. The ranch gives it a creaminess. I don't think I said that. That whole thing was saucy. This dude. one's was super really sloppy. Good. Yeah. So like don't it. expect to be eating this like you wouldn't while want to drive. driving. No. Uh, or like on an airplane with yeah. like five kids. <laughs> yeah. Or with like, a three piece suit. If you're hang gliding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're trying to like yeah, you know no. not hit the birds. It, it was you're, like, definitely the Angelos. That was the good thing about it though. And and again, I I say this all the time. 
that's how I want my food. I want stuff spilling out. I want to try to take a bite that drops all over the place. Yeah. Then, then you know you're eating something. It's I don't want... <laughs> You shouldn't be able to take a bite of something and it's not messy. Normally the messy just... things taste really good yeah. because they have a ton of stuff on it. Um, I can see why this wouldn't beat the steak and cheese though because it's only it's, so many yeah. people like... And it has a spice. I can tell, Not yeah. spicy spicy, yeah. but it does have a spice. It has so a flavor, yeah. It, it's like you, you can taste it. Yeah. So with the chipotle sauce and the jalapeno peppers, um, people eating it... You know, not a lot of people like spice. Not even so. that. Even like, like I used to be anti cilantro, so that would have turned me right yeah. off. And you could, it, it, the one thing about this is, is it had flavor. Mm -hmm. It jumped out at you, and yeah. you take a bite. You're like, oop, that's definitely cilantro. Then you get some corn stuff, and and, and it's something and about all of the pieces were evenly spread. Yeah, it wasn't Throughout like the whole chipotle. Thing. We went, and it was like half, one the whole thing was vice, and then some stuff. And we did say that. We were going to go, and we still may just go do that. Nobody recommended it. But we may go and yeah. do Chipotle versus Cadoba versus Moe's and see. Because that was a huge thing. When we ate that one burrito, we ha I had all white rice. I didn't have anything else. Yeah. They didn't build it right. This was solid throughout. And this you, is a grinder place. Yeah, so. and you didn't get, like, even the steak and cheese. You had steak, onions, peppers, and almost every single bite. Yeah. The only thing it was lacking is they could have threw more cheese more in there. It would have been phenomenal. But, but you don't need the cheese because the steak is moist enough. We're cheese hounds, though. We, we, we like a we, lot of cheese. We put cheese on everything. So, uh, but, I like the shredded cheese. Yeah. Like, um, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, but uh, other than that, I'm very glad we went here now. I am very not disappointed. This was the good. I was, I was, I was afraid that this was going to be another fail, mm -hmm. um, because and then he kept hyping me up as we were driving out to the place because I didn't even know where it was and it it really wasn't that far from mm -hmm. us. But I I never noticed the building there. I'd probably driven by it a thousand times, but I never even knew it was there. Yeah. And uh, but it is definitely uh, if you have never gone and and if you like say a burrito. You would love this would Southwest love this one because that was actually like one of the like, better. I we go to like this Mexican place, um, and there there's a kid salsa and an adult salsa, and the kid salsa is really 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 good, and the adult salsa it's like it's more liquidy and it has like spices and stuff. I'm not a fan of the adult salsa. I always ask for the kids. They make that one fresh, but the kids um, one is like a, a can it's of like uh, canned. Yeah, like regular salsa. And it's, it's you buy really, it. really yeah. good. I don't think it's canned. I mean, I, but the, it's, it's that like texture. It's like a tomato paste right. rather than a. Um, it's like a thick salsa drink. that you would get out of a, out of yeah. a thing, as opposed to the one they make is ninety percent cilantro. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's runny, powerful. Runny, it is. Yeah. But but the again, chips are phenomenal. This <laughs> was delicious. The, that the oh. kid. This reminds me of the kid salsa. You know, it has it I has the flavor. It has the flavors of the cilantro with all the other stuff. Yeah. But it's it's messy, but it's delicious because it's not overpowering, and I like that. Yeah. That's what I was trying to get. So we were nervous, and I wasn't sure what to try. So we tried the the, the number nine because again that one, and I let him pick. I I was shocked yeah. when he picked this one. I figured he was good because they have one there. I was ninety yeah, percent sure with that has like it looks like a cheeseburger grinder. It looks like it has like and it, I said he is definitely cheeseburger that. patties and cheese and that's yeah. it. And I thought he would get that. Well, it looked like it had lettuce and tomatoes and everything. It might. I don't know, but it, it. So I said he's gonna definitely get that, which I would have been fine with because we've had such bad cheeseburgers lately that it, uh, hopefully it would have been a refreshing change. But both of these. The Southwest mm -hmm. and the number nine, I highly recommend. This is Mr. Turtle approved. And for cost, again, it was just over $10, it right? It was 11 bucks. 11 dollars. 11 buckaroos. It, but it's a foot long grinder. So if you're not a big eater, you it can't was, eat all it that. It was like 13, 14, because Mr. Turtle's three and a half. And it was four it, Mr. It, Turtles. It was easily over a foot long. And then, and not. Uh, and they were good, like it was. It wasn't long and skinny. Either. I am stuffed. Yeah, I'm full. Um, yeah, we probably shouldn't have eat this much. It was too good to put down though. But it was really, really. There was good. no way I was stopping because sometimes when you eat a grind, it's, mm -hmm. again the bread is too heavy and filling. Yeah, this was some of the moistest, softest bread, bread ever. Like, and, and in the hot, the hots, 
the spread on it, no, the that's, hops. That's just the best. It, it just complements the bread. I'm glad so he much. finally likes that because to me, I never used to want it because when you put hots, that on I think a sandwich, it's super hot. Yeah, it's not that it's hot. Not. It's more like a vinegary, yeah, like a dressing almost. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pepper spread, and, and it, it looks like a relish, but it, it's all. It's something you would want peppers. to pickle cucumbers with. Oh, it's so good. That I, would be delicious. I, I, I eat pickled what, hots. I put it on everything. It, it's so good. It, it's just a nice little spread you put, <laughs> and, and it adds a. It's basically a, the pepper flavor. I want that on a pizza. Yeah, that would be actually really good. That'd be really pizza. good. So, but little Caesars to do it. You know, I, I actually looked at them today to see if they have something new, and yeah, they, they still haven't done a lot of new They things. still haven't. But done we anything new. we do. I want to go back and get the slices and sticks for six. He does. I've been he wanting does. it. I remember it being dynamite. I I'm worried it's not going to be. Our other choice was to look at something that compares with something from Little Caesars. So maybe we would have to go back and refresh slices our memory. Slices and but sticks. It was not six. slices and sticks, but ah. it was it was something that, that we've had in the past. And uh, but the we'll wings. See. We are running out. We 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 only literally have like one more place or two more places that we haven't that we know yeah. of that we haven't gone to. We have some stuff here like chips. We have we have we got some more stuff. We did another another run, and, and I think we have some some good stuff that I'm, yeah. I'm kind of interested to I'm try. I'm really excited. So we have that. Uh, there's nothing new that's come out in the 30 restaurants we've gone to. Uh -huh. So we do have like one or two more places we did a that tuna we haven't one, hit. Not uploaded yet. Sneak peek. We oh, ate tuna. What are you doing? Telling that? Don't oh, be giving up the peak. secrets. I we forgot did, that I one. Did, I did it. I forgot when that one hasn't come up yet. Again, Watch we we do later. some videos. You know, so if something happens and we can't pump yeah. one out, we have one that comes out every day. Eventually, it's going to come out when we don't, and that'll be a sad day because we're uh, But it was a trying. really fun video. No, we, there was some, um, we, we have some good stuff coming out that, that's going to be coming. But any suggestions, again, uh, you know, leave a, leave a comment down It smells really below. good up here. It, it smells like yeah. the peppers and onions, and that's delicious. Both of these were phenomenal. If you've never gone to D'Angelo's It smells like, like a fajita, because you have the Mexican smell. That's really good. That like really the, good. the burrito, and yeah. then you have the, 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 the peppers and onions. Well, that was a funny thing when he read the ingredients, because I'm like... That's a grinder? It's like cherry I, corn it, it, and It sounded and... like he was reading me ingredients to a burrito. If he would have said there's rice in it, I would have been like, yeah, buy the burrito. You know, but yeah. really, they did. We they should have got it in a wrap. They did a great job. No, the bread is phenomenal. <laughs> Do not get it in a wrap. That's sacrilegious. Unless the wrap is good. It doesn't. It can't be that good. But then it would be a burrito. They have That's the best. It's really, at. out of all the grinder places we've gone, they have probably one of the best breads I've eaten. Like that I would was just so, buy the bread. That was so fresh and so soft. That would be great with butter. That would be great with cream cheese and chives. That would be great with... Don't get me wrong. Raw onions. When you get a nice fresh bread and it's crunchy on the outside but soft on the inside, I like that too. But how, whatever they do to heat it, it was almost like it was steamed. That'd now, be, for those yeah. people like their steamed hot dogs and their steamed bread, I don't know what the D'Angelo does. But their bread was warm and soft and and and. But and, it still had like a. It good, was delicious. It was delicious. So it, it would be really good with some butter and jelly. It would have been sacrilegious not to eat it all, stick it in the fridge, and try to eat it the next day because it wouldn't have been all warm and cozy like it was. Marinara we sauce it. and pepperoni. Everything would have went good with that. Everything would have. It was the best bread we've eaten out of all the grinders we've gone yeah. to. Yeah. So. I don't know if it was the best. But on review. It's the best on review, on review, hands down. We have one we really like. Really, really like. But we will try again uh, on... on uh, we might have to go back and try some of the hot ones at Subway just for fun. Uh, they have the buy one, like get to. one deal. But if you want to see that, you know, bring it down. Because, again, we are running short on new food places. Or the places we've gone to that have anything new. None yeah. of them have it. So, again... 90% of all the places menus are new to us. And we're we on about to 150 so. subscribers, which we're going to do a spicy wing challenge yeah, they... at Dry Wings. <laughs> and <laughs> we are super excited. So hit the subscribe button now. Yeah, yeah. Get the subscribes in. Yeah. I, wanted, I, I do want to try to we'll probably River record Chill. it and not upload it till then because we don't know if it's going to stay on the menu that, forever. That's the only thing. I'm not I'm kind sure. of worried about that. I'm it's wondering. A stay at home challenge. I'm wondering. Right. right now that people aren't staying at home, um, we might yeah, have to get know, that. We might have to get that and, and get a, do it. Review it maybe tomorrow. Because uh, now that now that you said that, because it, I don't I don't know if it's going to stay on the menu. I've been worried. Like every day I wake up, I'm like. Is it is the the uh, spicy wings you know what? I didn't at think Buffalo of that. Wild Wings, the Carolina Reaper? Because we keep on saying this since like 110 subscribers, and we're at what 130? Maybe. So yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of worried that when it hits 150, there's not gonna be any more. 
If he's um, game, maybe we'll do it soon anyway. And maybe it'll because, be a 131 subscriber. There you special. go. Whatever it is, and um, uh, just thank you to you all. Anyways, thank you. Yes. We we might we might just do it because I forgot. You know, all the places are opened up now, and they may get rid of all the home. Correct. Job. They may not have it. And and if it wasn't a big seller. They may get rid of it anyway. Not so. a lot of people like spicy, but I guess if you're going to Buffalo Wild Wings, you expect spicy, unless you get the not spicy. I'd like to try it just to be able to say I did it. And, yeah. and again, we'll probably you leave a comment down below. Uh, we were gonna get because I'm not sure if he's how much he's gonna eat of it. We might just get I one. Be trying. We might get one and split it because I think it's twelve wings and you yeah. got to eat it all. And I'll, you're gonna. It also comes with ice cream and, and like a headband and a headband. Or but to be able to say we did the challenge, we might just get the one. But if you want to see us both try it, we'll split the ice cream and the headband. Well, if you want to see us both try it, we we can do the <laughs> two too. So leave a comment down below. We might just do you. That's a good point though. We might have to do we that will now. Have to do it soon. And then uh, just say thank you to all the people that are subscribed and uh, yeah. keep them coming if you could. Thank you. But again, keep the suggestions coming because we are loving them. In uh, yes, they this only was help. A suggestion. Thank you for yeah. that. So that being said, absolutely delicious. I will go back for this one or anything else. I'd like life. to try. I would try other stuff because that's the way I am when I go. Yeah. I like to try different things at restaurants. Anyways. Both of these are delicious, though. I would buy either one of these again. Oh, instantly, yeah. But I would, I would like, and I, I again, eleven dollars. Once for again, that size, this is delicious. Not the cheapest grinder in the world. It was quality. But it's, though. it's definitely the amount of money that this is deserved. Yeah. This, this, like the money is cheap compared to what I just ate. It was worth. It was worth every I, bite. I would buy this for fifteen. It was worth so every bite. I, That's the whole thing. Yeah. When you when you eat something like this and I'm full, it was worth. Ten dollars, hands down. This was, was this, this is the that's yeah. why the place we like. It's it's we'll five, do it one it's day. Like five, it's like five fifty. Yeah. I mean, you get a half loaf of grinder. It, the price compared to the food you get, you can't beat that. But yeah. where where you know this, you ten dollars for a little six inch one, and you're hungry. Not worth it. Ten dollars for this one, hundred percent. I'd eat yeah. this all day long. This was delicious, and I I. Flavor Town, all the way as as he likes to put it, all the way through all the grinders, every one of them. They they they, they had a lot of flavor to both of their grinders. Like you come on, come on, come say bye. You can say goodbye. And uh, so that being said, leave the comments. Yes. Hit that like button. Like the video. And uh, hope you enjoyed the Subscribe. video. Subscribe. There you go. Subscribe.